Zeit. Äh, ja, ich freue mich auf die Bühne zu bitten, Adam Schröder und Alex Russell. this very wild and very fresh movie. I think it was big fun here. And um, I was watching it now for the third time, so I was, I was thinking now for the first time, how is it to shoot a movie in this type of like documentary uh, found footage material? Uh, okay, it's very smart because after a while the camera gets more into the usual perspectives because they can move the camera. But for an actor, how is it you have to act so much into the camera? Yeah. Which is, you're not used to usually. No, no. Okay. Is it on? Hello? No. I don't have any projection. Um, so uh, the, the question was regarding the found footage style shooting. Um, I found that particularly challenging um, more than anything because you'll often have a scene that will go, you know, for two minutes or three minutes at times and you have to sort of hit different, um, you know, there's the arc of the scene that you've got to worry about and you want to be truthful and you've got to do it all with no cuts, there's no cuts to hide behind, you know. And so, it's, in a way, it's kind of like theatre but in terms of the consistency that you have to have, so I found that I found that to be quite challenging and I think that married with then having the special effects and wire work and all that sort of stuff coupled with, with, the, with the found footage thing was a huge challenge for me. Yeah, and it, work, it works very good because you believe it. it I mean, it's so hard I think, to transport this story and it really, really works and it's kind of touchy. And how much did you improvise during the shooting? Also with the camera work and so how much is really yeah. planned and how much just Happens. Um, you'd be surprised uh, how much we actually stuck true to the script. Um, Max Landis is a fantastic writer and he, he writes di dialogue exceptionally well and very naturalistically and perfect for this type of, um, this, this style of storytelling. So we, basically we had the freedom to improvise and we would often improvise at the beginning of a scene leading up to the dialogue and then usually once we got into the dialogue I, I, like, I would say 99 or maybe like 95% of the dialogue that's spoken in the film is as it's written on the page. And that's because what's written on the page is exactly what is needed to be conveyed in the scene in the first place. You don't, um, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type thing, you know? We, we didn't have to, to kind of paraphrase or change things around because it was just so well laid out. So it's all in the writing in the end, I guess. And in terms of, um, things looking naturalistic and um, you know having an Im improvised feel to it. We still had all the things that you have in a traditional shoot. We had, um, you know, we still had to hit our marks. We still had to, to do all of that. And I guess the challenge is, as you say, making it look natural. Yeah. And uh, Adam, it's like uh, the movie at the moment is like completely anti-Hollywood. You have a movie for a young audience. Um, it's PG-13 in, yeah. in US, and at the same time, you had the idea to make this kind of movie, which is so funny at the beginning, and it's like what every boy wants to do, and you really, you really, it shows to them, it's gonna turn into an extremely sad and touchy movie. I mean, he has to kill his bad, best friend at the end. To bring this to the cinemas for teenagers is a big risk. Uh, were you sure that it's going to work? Or? Oh, no, I mean, uh, we made this with 20th Century Fox, and they're the studio that makes the X-Men movies and big, big superhero entertainment, and uh, we set out to make a movie that was very grounded, that was very real, and, and like you said, 
if, if somebody, if any of us had superpowers, what would we do? We'd unfortunately probably not save the world right away. We, we'd screw around and we'd have some fun and uh, get a little wild. So, um, and, and the idea that it is so grounded and so character driven and it starts in a, in a very kind of small intimate place and then I, I hope that we earn the ability as the film goes on to get into a very large um, world and a large palette. Uh, so, a very anti-Hollywood, but it's done very well in Hollywood and uh, I'm glad they made it with us, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we love Hollywood. <laughs> and they didn't give us a lot of money to make it, so um, we, it's all up on the screen. Yeah, and it looks a lot more expensive than it, Thank you. Than it really was. I think, yeah. Zu dem Film gibt es bestimmt einige Fragen oder auch gerne mal positive Reaktionen. Ähm, traut, traut euch, äh, ihr folgt euch, die beiden sind da und nützt es aus. Irgendjemand? Ich sehe es, wir sehen es hier ganz schlecht von hier hinten. Okay, ja. Well, I'll just, I'll just say uh, the flying was uh, really hard to pull off and we really set out to show flying in a different way than the, anybody's seen it in movies before. So there were wild rigs and really we did it very uh, unconventionally, but we really wanted as much in camera as possible. So um, the flying was uh, something that we really had to work out and uh, I, I'm really proud of it. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, well, um, a bit more specifically, uh, yes, I mean, I had, it was incredibly challenging doing, we did a lot of wire work, um, and probably the most difficult uh, stunt that I did happens in about three quarters of a second on the screen. And it's when you see, like, um, Casey's falling to her death, and the door of the car rips off and it all happens in an instant then she's pulled out of the car but we actually i mean i was on a i was up on a wire and then the car the rig was over here and it was all green screen but i was sort of you know um you know maybe 10 feet up in the air or, or 15 feet up in the air and they had to swoop me in towards the car and i had to time it perfectly and be leaning forward at the right angle and then i had to plant my feet on the car as the as the as the wire stopped pulling me in and then reach my hand around in front of camera that was all it was just so difficult it was um it was quite tricky so yeah working with the wires was was a challenge when you when you did your first uh, flying tests this scene uh, where the the one guy was already great in flight uh, this looks like it has been fun any more questions yeah uh, yeah Okay, yeah. Describe that moment when you knew the film was a go, when you, when you got a green light, and then um, what do you think was the hook that made that happen? Um, it, it was actually a, a hard film to get the green light for because it was so anti-studio. Um, And, but, but actually the process went really quite uh, quickly once I sold the movie to Fox and we started doing, so, it was a new director, really, really gifted guy, Josh Trank, and uh, this was his first film and he hadn't uh, really even been on a film set before, he had done a short that went viral. And we did a bunch of projects, the, the he and I, camera tests, things that we could kind of present to the studio. This is what it's going to feel like. This is what it's going to look like. And uh, we were also meeting actors because part of the, uh, the success of the movie we really believed was going to be in finding the right actors who could be in this world and trained actors and, and really, really gifted uh, people. So um, yeah, it, it, it was great. Actually, when we, when we got the green light, it was, it, was, it was just five months after we first sold the uh, script to Fox. And they said that the uh, good news is we're making a movie. The bad news is we're giving you this amount of money and you're shooting it in Cape Town, South Africa and you have eight weeks to prep it and nine weeks to shoot it. So it was Cape Town up there uh, for Seattle, Washington. So it was, I felt great and then I thought, wow, we've got a heavy road ahead of us. It was very happy. But with more money, you wouldn't have probably the freedom to let the oh, yeah. movie end like this. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 it was great because uh, Because we, we were a small budget movie for the studio, so we were able to do things, we were able to break the rules, both in the storytelling and the way that we made the movie. So we feel really fortunate about that. So, yeah.